Oh my gosh, I think it worked. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, technology. I'm telling you, it could be just a freaking nightmare, but I'm thinking this will work. So I had to walk away, and now I'm gonna come back. I hope this works. Um, okay, I think we're good, I think we're good. Oh my gosh, this like took forever for me to come on live today, and um, I'm, <laughs> I'm so sorry. You guys, can technology like just kill you? I swear, I feel like technology can just kill me. Um, it's crazy. It's like you love technology and you hate technology. So anyways, I finally made it. I'm sorry it took me a little bit. Um, Lola, come here. Come here, Lola. You guys want to say hi to Lola? Come here. Come here, big girl. Come here. She, she does, she wants to go, go off and play. She doesn't want me to stay here. Anyways, um, as you guys are tuning in, sorry, I'm like discombobulated because I couldn't like, I couldn't go live. And so, um, I had to like walk all over my house and try and get reception and yada, yada, yada. Anyways, hello. I hope you guys are having a fabulous, uh, Wednesday afternoon. Happy hump day. Happy, uh, midweek <laughs> if you are working a nine to five um it's almost friday you guys almost made it woohoo anyways i'm gonna be talking today about how um i get so many questions about how to increase engagement on content and i know all this crazy stuff that happened with facebook people like all of a sudden want to bash facebook and um you guys facebook's been really um an amazing platform to network and build a business. And so uh, I just wanted to come on and give some more uh, engagement tips. I know I recently did a Facebook Live and I talked about the algorithm hacks. And so I wanted to come in here and just really talk to you about how to make sure that your posts and your content don't get like thrown down the toilet, <laughs> if you may, like, right? And so, um, because I know that the algorithm hacks have changed, and so Facebook's doing, you know, some changes. They have to. However, they've been such a blessing for those of us that are building a business through social media. And they're not going anywhere, right? They're not going anywhere. Um, I've been doing a lot of research on this and listening to a lot of the uh, top experts that actually work with Facebook. And I believe them because I've been following them for a while now and they know their stuff, okay? Okay. Um, so before I dive in, I'm going to back up. I'm going to say hello. Let me know where you guys are tuning in from. Uh, what's up, Erin? How are you, sweetie? Hey, Tennille. What's up, Sarah? How are you guys doing? Hey, Heather. Heather, I told you I do this Facebook Live. Yeah. What's up, Michelle? Let me know where you guys are tuning in from. Also, you guys, there we go. Midway Facebook Live. Woo! Do you guys see what I'm talking about? So here's the deal. I got a new phone. You guys, this phone is like bigger than my whatever is holding it here. So it doesn't want to stay, you guys. It just doesn't want to stay. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. All right. I'm going to stand still. So hopefully, because I have like my microphone, you guys, this is like Facebook Live 101 of um, you don't really stop hearing what happens because Stuff happens, <laughs> Facebook Live. All right, so as you're tuning in, make sure you say hello, make sure you say where you're tuning in from. If you're new to who I am, put new in the comment section. Uh, my name is Julie Burke, I'm the founder of createsuccesswithjulie.com and what I do is I specialize in helping home-based business entrepreneurs bring their business online. I help you to shine on social media, get more visible, so you can really uh, just leverage your time and leverage your business. And that's what truly makes me thrive. So I get this question often, right, about engagement and how do we make sure that our posts are seen and how do we make sure that our content is, um, that people are engaging with our content. So first of all, what I'm going to say is, hey, what's up, Michelle? How are you? Is stop being lazy on social media, okay? If you want engagement, the number one success habit is to be social, but create a plan, okay? Be social, but create a plan because I understand 
Um, and primarily, I'm going to talk about Facebook because you guys, I'm just going to be honest. I don't really go off of Facebook. I do have an Instagram account. I am, um, you know, I really need to remember to turn these notifications off, you guys. <laughs> um, you think I know this by now. I think I've done 300 Facebook Lives, speaking from a girl that had so much fear around doing lives, and I still don't turn off my notifications. Um, but create a plan because I'm going to talk about Facebook Live because, yes, Instagram is great and all the other platforms out there, but really it's Facebook that has brought and helped me build a seven-figure business. And so... I, I truly don't believe that Facebook is going anywhere. I, I, I truly don't. I was watching something from Kim Garst recently, and she, I mean, she knows her stuff, right? And then there's Mari Smith, and, and they really, and she works directly with uh, Mark Z and Facebook. And so um, I believe them. You know, I know that they're making changes, but they're always making changes. You know, that adds, you know, personally, I do have multiple businesses, so I've been in network marketing for six years. If you're new to me, I I have been in network marketing. I've created seven figures in, in the network marketing space and have an online training company as well where I teach people how to brand. I offer mentorship programs. I've done affiliate. Um, I created digital digital products. Like So I do use the ads manager. So if you're an entrepreneur and you're watching this and you own your own home-based business and Let's say you've never used an ads manager before inside of Facebook. I'm going to tell you now more than ever, um, it's a great tool to have if you want to run ads. And some people freak out because you have to spend money, but you have to, it, it kind of pays to play. Now, there's organic reach. You could definitely do organic reach, and I have that on my personal page. But I'm talking about, I have a business page, you guys. I have a fan page. That's where you're tuning into now. And so, um, and I should have shared this to my personal page. Wendy, if you're still on, can you help me and share this to my personal page? I totally forgot to do that. Um, but I used to own, let me put this into context. You guys, I used to own a franchise, okay, from a very young age. And I would spend thousands. Oh my gosh, that vent up there is filthy. I'm sorry, I'm doing a Facebook Live in my um, family room and... It's like above our wine bar and I just caught my eye. Okay, focus, Jewel. So I used to own a franchise. Um, I'll be cleaning after this. And I would spend thousands, you guys, thousands to advertise. And I'm talking like advertise in my local area. So what Facebook has us do is spend what it would cost for a cup of coffee, $3, $5 a day, and literally, this is how I started building up my fan page was just by running a few ads in a likes ad campaign and getting my message out there. And I get this, I could run it anywhere in the world. I ran it to Australia, I ran it to UK, I ran it to Canada, I ran it to US because my market is in the English speaking countries, right? Now, people want to bash Facebook and I don't think that they should. Should because think about your business. Think about all the connections you've made from being on the social media platform. You guys, it's pretty cool, right? Can we just give a thumbs up to that? Because there are so many people in my network marketing business and my coaching business, my students, my clients that are the most amazing human beings that we were connected because of this incredible platform. Okay, so let's just give an amen to that. Now, I get the question, awesome, thanks for the thumbs up, guys. Yeah, and listen, this is really important what I'm talking about um, because, again, if I'm getting this question every day, I'm sure that you have team members, that you have friends, that you have associates, what have you, that want to know the answer. So share it out. Smash the share button, share it out, help them out. Also, I love giveaways, so if you share it, I'll give you a shout out, and I'll give away a 20-minute free coaching call with moi. Anything you want to talk about with online marketing or branding, moi. Um, I'll put you into a raffle and we will do a coaching call together. Free. Free of charge. Um, I typically charge $900 for one session. So, I don't know if that says anything, but I will do this because I think this is such an important topic. So, number one, you guys... Stop being lazy on social media if you want engagement. Don't think that you could just post like three times a week. Uh, Rhonda, thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for sharing, Sarah. I appreciate that. 
So don't think that you could just post two or three times a week and you're going to get all this engagement because it's just, it's not, it's not true. Okay. Um, so you want to, you want to create content, but you also want to create a plan and be smart about it. Cause it's also very easy. You guys, thanks Patty for sharing to be sucked, to be sucked into Facebook and whatever social media platform you're using. Lola. Oh my gosh. She's biting a, my son's boot. Lola. Um, so it's easy to get sucked in, right? So I create a plan every single day. I actually, the night before when I'm laying in bed, I go through all my photos. You guys, I take photos all the time. I might not post them, but I, every day, but I have like a stack of photos, right? And then I'll create a story around that, or I'll create a post around that, or um, I might create like a, this vibrant image and I might do a Q&A post, right? Like our engagement post, Q&A, um, this or that post, what do you prefer, this or that, um, you know, and just, you know, to stir up, people love to give their opinions. They love it. Human beings are always curious as well. This is why we always want to create curiosity around our business in our network marketing company and we don't 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 ever want to spam right we just want to show our life our lifestyle and someone might say well i don't have an interesting lifestyle well go find one go find your passion then like go figure it out for you okay it's not for them for you what is it that you're um that you love to do right so i talked about this over the weekend on saturday if you were on my live I talked about curating content and how to figure out what is it that you like to talk about. I talked about the 9 to 12 categories. So my 9 to 12 categories are talking about Lola, posting about Lola, my children, my family, working out, nutrition, drinking coffee, drinking jalapeno margaritas, um, marketing and sales, network marketing. Um, team of my um, posting about my team, um, lifestyle posts, travel posts. Like you guys, it like literally could go on and on once you sit down. I love coffee, right? I go for my Starbucks runs all the time. Most of the time, you guys come with me. So, personal development. That's another one. Personal development. Thanks, Aaron, for sharing. Personal development is huge. What do you want to do? What do you want to do for other people? I want to inspire. I want to impact. I want to create like a movement for people. I want to help them get more brazen, more bold. You know, so think about what it is for you. Maybe you're an introvert and you want to, and you're working on developing, um, coming out of your shell a little bit more. So maybe you can help other introverts on what you're learning and, and teach them. All right. So post every day. Okay. Post every day because you have to post consistently, okay? Like I said, two times a week, three times a week, not going to work. I'm talking like two to three like really engaging um, posts. I would say really engaging posts, probably one really engaging post a day, okay? So if that's going to be your asking opinion, so to stir up your feet. So like I'll give you an example. Um, my son has like this skin condition. Okay, so I could either take a picture of it and I'd post it and I'd say, moms, do you know what we can do for, um, oh my gosh, I want to call it melasma. It's not melasma. It's, uh, it's not eczema. Uh, but, oh, whatever. I forgot the name of it. But anyways, it's like these sores. Okay, so I could just, curious, curious posting, post it out. What do you, what kind of natural product, because I use medication on him, and guess what, you guys? He broke out in a rash all over his body. Red. Red, bright fire engine red. I don't want to use it. Well, now we have to go see a specialist, but I posted that out. Hundreds of comments. Why? Because as moms, like, we care. And guess what? I'm attracting moms. So I'm doing it because I really want to know, but I'm also doing it to stir up engagement. Does that make sense? I'm, like, firing up that algorithm. All right. So, um, before here's another tip before you go, I know Amy, it's awful, awful. God, I can't think it begins with an M and molascom, molascom. He has molascom, molascom. It's awful. It's awful, awful. Um, and 
it, the, the off base, but the issue with that is he has to wear long sleeve shirts. Thank God it's cold in Chicago because he can't go around the kids with like short sleeve tops. So he feels like there's something wrong with him. It's just awful. We have to get this cleared up. Um, so anyways, before you go live, here's another tip. This is actually a really good hack. Okay. Go to like 10 to 20 Maybe even if you're doing this like an hour before you're going live, you could even probably get to 25, 30 people. And so set like an hour aside for social media, all right? Like if you can in the morning, during the day, what have you. But know when you're going live. Lola, stop. Oh my gosh, she ripped the boot. Um, know when you're going live and go to somebody's page, 20, literally 10 to, I'd say 10 to 30 people's page that you know that you want them to see this live. Do you guys understand that? And you go and you start engaging with their content, you guys. You start engaging with their stuff. It's unbelievable how this works. It's such an, uh, a hack. So what I did is today I had two engaging, pretty in, in, engaged posts. But guess what? I also went back to other posts that were highly engaged with and also commented on those posts today as well. Okay, so that is something that you can do. If you want them to see your stuff, do it before you're about to go live. I'm telling you guys, it, it, I've been testing all these algorithm things, I swear. I even hear, this is so funny. So. My ads manager and I were having a conversation about Instagram um, through Facebook Messenger. Are you guys, this is I hand to God on my children and little Lola over here. In our Facebook Messenger, having uh, I asked her a question about Instagram. I'm not even joking, you guys. 30 minutes later, an Instagram sponsored ad showed up. In my messenger feed, you know how they have like the sponsored ads in there now? And it was an ad for exactly what I was talking to my ads manager about. Like freaking unbelievable. This is what I'm talking about. Um, so freak of nature. I even sent it to her. I screenshot it and I sent it to her and we were cracking up. I'm like, this is like, I just, I can't even, I can't even. Um, so it was pretty funny. But this is what I'm saying. Like you go in their messenger or you go to their page um, and you um, comment on their stuff, and then they are in your feed. This is just another hack. Um, okay, so find people relevant to you and not your team members. So we lo I love my team. I have like the most kick butt, I won't swear on today's live, I will just say kick butt team. Like they kick butt. I love them. And yes, I will post on some of their stuff here and there, but I, you know, like we're already in the, we're already in the same game. Like we're already in the same deal. So I want to bring it outside of my team and no offense to my team. And I don't take offense from them because I know that they don't always comment and watch my stuff and are in my stuff because we get it. We all get it. And we build 100% on Facebook. So we need to be constantly connecting with new people. Okay. So I'm finding the people that I will go to their personal page. I will check them out. I will say, okay, what mutual friends do we have in common? I will just go and kind of investigate them. And then I'll send them a friend request. And I'll just say, hey, um, I see we have a lot of mutual friends in common. I would just love to, you know, stay connected to you. Bam. Or maybe I see something on their feed and I give them a compliment. What have you. Okay. Um, so now we already are messaging one another. So then they are in my feed and I am now in their feed, okay? So find people relevant to you and not just team members. Um, initiate engagement, super important to attract people. So this is all part of attraction marketing, all part of attraction marketing. So this goes back to stop being lazy on social media and just liking. Um, you want to actually, so when people comment on my stuff, I'm just not like, hey, thanks. No, I'm like, well, I take it a step further. I either make a comment or I initiate the conversation so I know that they're going to respond because then Facebook's like, well, you know, hey, uh, she has a pretty engaged uh, post here. So I'm going to show her posts more and more. 
So you want to initiate the engagement with other people to attract them, but always make it an authentic way. Okay. So start, um, start doing that and not just saying thanks or a like, like, don't be lazy Just say, Hey, what did you like best about it? Right? So it's, it's something I'm going to do with all of you because I'm putting together my, um, oh my gosh, you guys, now she's chewing a box. Oh my gosh. I'm putting a, together my, um, sorry, she distracts me. Um, success circle monthly, uh, mastery. Okay. It's going to be a monthly memberships group and it's only for female entrepreneurs. And one question I'm going to ask all of you is what is one thing that you guys are struggling with in your business right now? Like, that's all I want to know. What is the one thing? Because I'm creating like a whole year of content for this. And I want, I don't want to just create content and value. I want implementation, you guys. Like this monthly, this monthly membership is going to propel you forward. I promise you that. Because if you know me, I don't let people just sit pretty. Like, no, there will be a movement, there will be camaraderie, there will be community, there will be all of that great stuff. Yes, tactics and strategies, yes, mindset, how to how to sell, how to market, how to convert, online marketing, what have you. It's, it's gonna be great, you know, yes, some network marketing stuff as well, but really how to build an online business, really, really, really strong. So I wanna know one thing that you guys are struggling with. So there's my Q&A, right? Here's my, I'm walking you guys through what I would do, Q&A. Do the same thing on yours. Ask your people when you're on a live or when you're doing a post, don't just post text, post like a vibrant, fun picture or picture that shows the meaning. So I have a mirror app, M-I-R-R-O-R, mirror app. And it you take a selfie and it you can mirror it all different ways. It's in your Play Store. And I recently did a post and mine was a picture of me looking to the side and like looking down and it mirrored the other way. So it was like two people, like I was double faced and it was talking about me being the person that I was raised by my mom to be a perfectionist and how that has kind of hindered me throughout my life. And then the, the story was wrapped around how once I let go of being perfect, that's when my business took off because I was always like, I can't get that course out there. It's not perfect. What if people don't buy it? Or I can't, um, I can't do Facebook Live. I don't look perfect. I don't have perfect makeup. I don't have perfect hair. Like it was all about perfection, you guys. And so it hindered me in my business for a really long time. But it was a great post because, and I asked how many women out there can relate? And I asked that question, okay? So um, I did that post on my personal page. I actually will post it here on my pan, on my fan page, so you guys could just get a little glimpse at, as to what I'm talking about with your post and bringing in a really cool app to take that picture. Right? Is that is that cool? Give me some hearts. Give me some hearts if you're getting value right now, because I just love I just love hearts. So I'm just being selfish right now. <laughs> okay. Um, let me see where I'm at. Start connecting with people. Okay. He, you want another hack? Do you guys want another hack? I have one, two, three, three more hacks. And this is just some hacks. I have a lot, but this is just a few I'm giving you. So if you want more hacks, type yes. Lola, stop. I think she knows when I do uh, This is attention getting you guys. You guys think that children are bad? Puppies are just as bad. All right. So uh, where are we at? All right. Another thing you can do is, yes, you could go into Facebook groups and start relationships and friendships and pull it out, but you know another reason why I like the sponsored ads? Because I can see who likes sponsored ads, and I can go through the feed of people that like sponsored ads and see how they comment. Then I can connect with people through sponsored ads because guess what? If it's an ad that I like, like let's say it's an ad about marketing or boss babes or Billy G marketing. If you guys have seen his ads, they're like hilarious. He's got, he's just a, just a freaking genius marketer. Um, I will go in and I will start, um, friending a few people. Now I'll go to the profile. I'll do the whole due diligence PI stuff 
and then I might friend them and send them a message. I mean, honestly, you guys, Facebook is a networking playground. So I use it as a playground to network and build relationships and meet people. I don't want to go to coffee shops. I don't want to go to networking events. I've been there, done that six years ago when I started building my network marketing business. I don't want to do it. So I utilize Facebook and all these different avenues. So it's the same way as going into a group and, you know, going through the feed and meet people in the group. It's the same thing that if you go through a sponsored ad and you just see all those comments and all those people that like it and you'll see your mutual friends that like it. It's just so flipping cool. So that's another thing that I do as a connecting hat. All right. Um, here's also a really good one. All right. Comment bump. Comment bump with conversation. So you want to uh, you want to hack to snowball your posts, right? So this is what I mean. So just as I mentioned, how I. I say, okay, I'm going to go live at this time today. Like I have my plan set in place. This is what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to go through my, my feed and I'm going to go through past posts of what had highest engagement. And guess what? I don't comment to every single person immediately. Just FYI. Okay. I don't comment immediately. So I leave a few open and then I go back and I, I, I want to push that post back up to the feed again. I did that on five of my past posts this morning. All right. And so I'm stirring up that algorithm on my page because then it pushed my, I'm just snowballing it back. I'm snowballing it back into the feed and it's coming down and then more people are commenting and then I'm engaging with them. I'm engaging with them. Okay. So they post. I will reply. I might wait till a couple people post and maybe just reply to one knowing I'm going to go back and like fire up that post again. You guys, does that make sense? So comment bump. Comment bumping is one of the greatest things that you can do to stir up the algorithm to get your stuff back into the feed that had a lot of interaction because again, Facebook's going to say, wow, her stuff has had a lot of interaction and it's still having interaction even a week later or two weeks later. You guys, I went back to a post I did about collagen for my hair. My hair, people were commenting on my hair. I've been showing like every four weeks how my hair is growing, right? And it's like looking better and better. My skin's looking better and better. I went back a month ago to that post. I think it was last week. I commented on it. And guess what? I got three new customers and a business builder off of that post. I'm not even joking. So I went back to come and bump it back up into the feed, right? And so I had more people going, what is this? Can you send me info? What kind of collagen? Start to ask me questions. So then I'm of course responding, hey, I'll message you. I don't post it here. I'll send you a message if you want to know. Boom. Okay. Um, I think I'm on my last one and I have, I, I don't even know what time it is. You guys, I have a three o'clock call. So someone tell me if I'm close to three o'clock. All right. Uh, create enticing headlines. This is huge. I've learned a ton about copywriting from understanding persuasion and online marketing. And I don't mean persuasion in an icky fashion. I'm just talking about persuasion, meaning giving the person what they want and helping them to understand what they want, how, what you have can help them. Okay. So creating enticing headlines is super important. Case in point, I posted, you know, stop, what did I post? Um, you could go back and look at this headline. Um, one, when I finally launched with my network marketing company, it was um, ready to break, I'm finally ready to break my silence. What did I tell you? Human beings were curiosity, were curiosity driven. So often people think that they need to tell the story. The story is great. However, the short and concise and just like curiosity based headline is also very good. So when I do my Facebook lives, um, thank you, Sheree, for, I hope I said that right, Sheree, for, um, oh my God, I'm five minutes late, uh, for sharing. Okay, I gotta hurry up. So long story short, um, create 
headlines. And if you're in the membership, I could teach you copywriting. I could teach you curiosity based um, headlines. I plan on starting the membership in May. I'm so excited. Again, it's for female entrepreneurs, you guys looking to build their business online. Um, I'm super thrilled. If you want to get on the list for uh, the monthly membership, I do have a, ho a whole waiting list going. Just type list in below and you will automatically be sent something um, in your inbox to get onto my list. Uh, it's just a short little form you gotta fill out so we can notify you through email. But you guys, I hope that this helped. Uh, please let me know. Yeah, it is, yes, I'm sorry, let me clarify. Um, it is network and online marketing. So I will, in the membership, of course, part of what I am is network marketing or part of what I do is network mar marketing. It, it's not who I am, but it's part of my, my businesses. So yes, um, I'll be doing Q and a in there. I'll be pulling in guest experts. I'll be doing a training a month, like a bundle of a training. I'll be, I just raffled off a, uh, a ring light for my boot campers, my branding boot camp, which just finished up my five week branding boot camp, which was awesome. I just raffled off to one of my students, uh, a ring light. You guys, I love giveaways. Like they're so awesome. And that's why I said, if you share this, you share this, I will put you into a raffle and I will pull out a name for a 20 minute um, coaching, free coaching session with me. So, uh, so if you share it, thank you very much. If you found value, you guys, again, share, like, comment, all of that. If you have any questions about what we discussed here today, what I taught you about um, some of these hacks, some of these engagement hacks, and just also break out of the box a little bit more in terms of um, break out of your box a little bit more in like creativity. And that's a, another thing I'm gonna share inside the monthly membership is how do you get more visible and how do you create more like eye-catching images and things like that um, for free, right? And um, you also get a swipe of all of my like stock images that you could just literally swipe for uh, quote memes so you don't have to go off and create it your own. You guys, it's just gonna be a ton of stuff. I don't have time to go through all of it right now, but it's gonna be fun and I'm super excited about it. Anyways, um, let me know if you guys have questions. I do have to hop off. Thanks for hanging this afternoon. I'll make sure to see you guys all real soon. And again, no, drop me the number one thing you're struggling with and let me see how I can uh, help you, okay? Take care. Bye, everyone.